hello what is up guys it's been a minute and by a minute i mean a month uh i took a hiatus from art because stress and new year's but we're back baby 2021 i hope you're feeling good i'm feeling good we're back new webcam shout out emma new hat shout out my mom shout out everyone we're out here 2021 with a new tutorial and if you clicked on the video you already know what we're doing baby we're taking a 2d object and making it rotate in 3d space because you know the vibes we want things to spin we want motion 2021 we're all moving and grooving so today i'm going to teach you how to take something you made in illustrator an image anything anything you want <laughs> like it just has to be png and transparent and we're gonna rotate that bad boy in after effects so i'm gonna show you what we got today what i created in illustrator and then i will take it into after effects and we will make it spin so stick around and we're gonna jump right over to that okay awesome Okay, as you see here, we got some peace, we got some peace, and we got a happy face, because on brand, happy face, happy face. So right now, I have these images in Illustrator, and I want to make them spin. They're flat, they're 2D, but I want to use them maybe for a YouTube video, or to make a GIF, or to use it in another form that's just not an image. So first of all, what you want to do is you're going to go here and click on your little guy. Make sure like all of the layers are selected together, or grouped, or merged, because you don't want to just export an eye or the smile you want to export all of it so i'm going to select my image and we're going to go to file export selection and then you're going to want to name the asset whatever you want and make sure it's in somewhere that like you could find i have it in rotation video because we are making a rotation video and you're just going to name it whatever you want somewhere you could find it and it has to be a png if it's a jpeg you're not going to get the transparent background you want your image to be transparent because we're going to have that bad boy spinning around so make sure you export it as a png and you have it selected and you're going to, go to export asset and send that bitch to the folder maybe you shouldn't curse i don't know who cares i hope you're over 18 or your mom is fine with me cursing so we're going to send that to the folder that we select so we're going to export that asset beautiful and we're going to move on over to after effects okay guys we out here in after effects after effects is my enemy but in 2021 we're gonna glow up in after effects that's why we're doing an after effects tutorial tutorial one of 2021 so we're gonna go to new composition and we'll call it rotating video or rotating whatever you want to call it and make sure it's just in a standard hd 1080 by 1920 and we're gonna hit okay then we're gonna go over here and we need a background so we're just gonna make a new solid we'll call it background beautiful look at that and then after that we're going to import the asset we want to spin so we're going to go to file i want to do the happy face so we're going to drag the happy face in there and then we're going to drag it from our project manager into our our layers so wait we're going to make sure it goes up and look at that we got our happy face honestly i want that to be a little bigger so we're going to scale that up and look at that we got a beautiful happy face but we want to make it spin alec how do we make it spin well viewer i'm gonna tell you you're gonna want to go and right click on your image and do pre-compose and we're just gonna call it logo or we'll just call it image and that's your flat image and then we're gonna want to pre-compose it one more time we're gonna call it 3d image and right now we got our 3d image and we're gonna double click on it and right here we have our little image look at that it's flat but we want it to move we want motion we want it to be 3d so 3d you're gonna click 3d layer over here and click that bad boy and then you're gonna want to hit p for position then you're gonna right click oh not yet and right click on position and then we go to separate dimensions so once you make the 3d layer visible you can have the xyz properties like xy like rotation and all of that but z which is the depth so we're gonna go to separate dimensions and then right now you got your xyz beautiful and then you're gonna hold alt or whatever you're using mac windows just control click and then you're gonna go and instead of transform z position you're gonna type in index and that allows us to create depth within our flat image so once we have the index selected you're gonna go on image and you're gonna duplicate this Control d Control d Control d Control d 16 is a good number so once you have all of that duplicated you're gonna to want to go to active camera and make it custom view one and if you zoom in we got a little depth going on over here so i did 16 because i don't need it to be like super like in depth but i just want like a nice little rotation going on so once we get that 
we can go back to our main composition, which is our 3D image. And you're going to click this again so you could see the 3D. You're going to click this little star, firework, bad boy, and you're going to show that. So once you have those selected, you could hit R for rotation. And we're going to do Y rotation. So it spins in a circle. So we want to just do one rotation. You can just type in, th oh wait, first, first, before we do that, we want to keyframe our Y to the beginning of our timeline and then keyframe it again to the end of our timeline. So at the end, we're going to type in 360 and then we're going to go back to the beginning and hit play. And look at that. It's slowly spinning. It's a beautiful, it's 3D. You want this to be your next YouTube logo. You want it to be a GIF. You could do whatever you want with it. That's the best part. You could export it and make it whatever you want. So we have that bad boy spinning. It looks beautiful. What if we want it to go a little faster? Let's do five rotations. Look at that. It's spinning so fast. Look at that. You want to make it a GIF? You want to post it on your Instagram story? You want it to be your YouTube intro? You could do anything with it. It's beautiful. So we have that bad boy spinning and we could go to file and then we could go to export and we could go to add to render queue. And for our output module, we want to change it. Instead of RGB, we want it to be RGB and alpha. If you don't do RGB and alpha, it's not going to export it as with a transparent background. So you can do RGB and alpha and OK. And then we're going to hit render. And it's going to spin that bad boy around a few times. And I think it's looking good. I think we're up to a great start. And it's a great easy tip that could really add a lot of depth to your project. Like if you want to make a logo or you don't know how to animate something, you could just do this effect and it will take whatever's a 2D image and turn it into a 3D image. So we're going to go and check our little export. I think it's on our desktop. I don't know what I called it. <laughs> something. So it's out here somewhere. We'll do rotating video. And look at that. It spins, beautiful. We got a happy face. And the best, best, best part is after you're done, if you're like, I wanna make something new, I wanna use, I wanna rotate something else. You could go to your asset and you could go to replace footage with file and then you could slap something else in there. And then that's gonna spin. So this is a great like tutorial because you could use this for the future, save your project. And whenever you're like, oh, a client logo, something needs to spin, you could drop it in here and make it rotate. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today, guys. And yeah, we're going to do it every two weeks, every Wednesday. We'll see you there. This is tutorial one of 2021. I hope we could do more. And thank you. If you enjoyed it, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you make anything cool, tag me at Fluffy Triforce on Twitter, Instagram, any of that jazz. But yeah, it'll be a good time. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's a quick, easy one, but it's definitely something that could add depth to your project. So I will see y'all in two weeks. And until then, peace out. See you later. Bye.